Hello everybody and welcome back to Is that Guam? It is! We're back at Guam for the first time in like three months. We're finally back here. Um yeah, it's been so long. But um finally I'm back here with another Guam Airport update. Um so yeah, sorry about the extensive delay uh to this airport update. But um yeah, we had to do it. And here it is. So we're back at Guam here for another exciting airport update. So, since it has been such a while, I'll kind of explain uh, the, the dealio with this airport to all my new audience who has not seen an, an airport update for Guam yet. Um, so this is an airport uh, located on the island of Guam in the Pacific. It is a United hub, probably their uh, most peculiar hub. Um, so Guam airport is mostly used for um, military uh, people going in because uh, it's a big military place for the U.S. is one of the territories and in, in the it's just like an island in the middle of the Pacific, and um, and it's a United hub, and it's just a really cool place and uh, kind of just just like a really peculiar place in this country, and um, since they have a lot of United here, I figured um, I would be able to do airport updates here since I have a decent uh, United fleet. And uh, it just is a really just, just an interesting airport to do. Um, now they get, of course, a lot of United flights, so they fly only the 737s and the 777s here. Uh, so uh, only 737-800s too. So there will be some 737-900s in here because I only have two 737-800s for United, but um, in real life it's only 737-800s. And they also fly 777s in here. Uh, mostly 777-300s, but I have seen 777-200s on occasions, uh, but mostly 777-300s. Um, but yeah, and there's also uh, many Korean airlines, uh, mostly uh, other than United. There's Philippine Airlines, of course, are not Korean, but uh, Philippine Airlines operates daily here from Manila, and there's a bunch of Korean airlines, Jeju Air, Jin Air, uh, Tuei, and Korean Air. Um, and there used to be, I haven't seen them in a while, but there used to be uh, Air Busan and uh, Air Seoul who flew in here as well. Um, but I have not seen them here in a while. This is also used as an airport to train pilots for Japan Airlines, uh, mostly on the 767 and the 737. So it's quite common to see Japan Airlines uh, flights around here that are just doing like circles around Guam uh, as training flights. So that's very fun to see as well. Unfortunately, my one Japan Airlines model um, has, has been destroyed beyond repair, and so I will not be able to use it in these airport updates. But maybe if Japan Airlines sends an A350 in here at some point, I'll be able to use uh, my new acquired A350. But now we'll, we will uh, begin over here. Uh, so uh, we have these two United 737-800s. We have the old livery 737-800 there in the back. This one came in from Tokyo Narita, and it'll be heading out to Fu uh, Fukuoka. And then our next aircraft is in the Star Alliance livery. And this one has arrived in from Saipan, which is an island uh, near Guam, and it'll be heading back out there. So yeah, there's a lot of Saipan flights, there's a lot of Tokyo flights um, on United, and um, so those are the, the main two cities that we see here on the 737-800, but there, there are a whole lot, and of course, Another thing that I uh, neglected to mention here is that um, I guess the main thing that the Guam Airport is most famous for is it is the terminus for the United United Airlines Island Hopper from Honolulu to Guam that stops in Majuro, Kwajalein, uh, Ponape, Kosrej, and Chuk. Uh, I think in that order. I think I got that right. <laughs> um, I always feel like I'm missing one, but I think that's it. Um, and so this is the the terminus for that flight, and then it also you know of course of course it goes back in reverse and back to Honolulu, but that operates twice weekly, and that's probably the th thing that this airport is probably most known for, if I had to guess, um, just because that is a really cool flight, and that is one of my bucket list flights, um, definitely to go on the United Airlines Island Hopper out here to Guam, um, so hopefully one day I'll be able to go to this airport. But uh, with that being said, we'll move on to the rest of our aircraft here since we spent uh, almost five minutes at these two. And next up here we have this United 737-900. This is, of course, filling in for a 737-800 in the Evo Blue livery. 
Um, this one has arrived in from Osaka Kansai, and it will be heading out to Chuk uh, to go on to the island hopper to Ponape. I guess I mixed up Ponape and Kosrei. It's the other way around. Ponape, Kosrei, Kwachalin, Majuro, and then on to Honolulu. So yeah, it's just a very cool flight right there, and it's cool that United does it. They do on the 7800, of course, but, um, you know, sometimes I, I just don't have enough 7800s, and maybe uh, I'll get another one at some point, but I'm pretty happy with the two right now. But yeah, just uh, it is just a really cool flight here, and I'm glad that uh, United does it here. It's just, it, this actually began back, when, back in Continental. This used to be all Continental here. Uh, with Continental Micronesia, and then United kind of took over. So it is a pretty long history here at uh, here at Guam. So um, glad that I can kind of uh, represent that here. So uh, very cool flight, and like I said, just now I would like to fly on it at some point. Definitely a bucket list flight. I mean, it is really expensive to do, to do the entire thing, but it, it it's probably worth it. So, so one day, one day, we'll make it happen. <laughs> And then here we have my EcoSky 737-900, once again filling in for a 738. This one arrived in from Tokyo Narita, and it will be uh, later heading out to Airai. All right, and this is a new aircraft that I've been wanting to get for this airport for quite a while. It's not necessarily realistic on the aircraft, but it is realistic with the airline as Korean Air does fly to Guam. Um, they fly the, on, on this particular flight, this is the, their night flight. It is on the 738. Um, but they also have an afternoon flight on the E330, uh, so this isn't an accurate aircraft for either of those, but I uh, have wanted to get a Korean Air model, and it, I think it applies well enough here. That I believe they used to fly the 777s here um, back when I started doing these airport updates, but they quickly switched them to the 737s and the E330s, um, but still cool to see them. I'm surprised that there are so many Korean flights, but it also kind of makes sense because... Um, a lot. It is other than military operations. Guam is a big hotspot for uh, tourism, especially from East Asia, uh, for people who don't want to go all the way to the United States and pay, you know, a ridiculous amount to go there. Uh, they just fly to Guam because it's basically the United States, but only like a three-hour flight away. And uh, so that is why there are a lot of Korean flights here, and also a lot of flights to Japan because uh, it's a big uh, tourist destination for uh, those countries. And so, yeah, it's pretty cool to see, uh, you know, all those flights there. Yeah, it's, just, it's just a really interesting airport here, and um, I should definitely start making these airport updates more frequent. Sorry that there's been just been such a long delay uh, with these updates. So, um, but yeah, we still have a few more aircraft to get to here. Uh, well, two more, and predictably the next one is United. And here we go. Here's our United 777-300ER. Uh, beautiful model by Aviation 400, and uh, definitely has uh, been well used here at Guam, as there are uh, multiple triple seven. Eh, mostly, it's it's one daily flight from Honolulu. There are the there is the occasional Hong Kong flight, but I mean it's honestly been such a long time since I've done this air, these airport updates. There usually uh, there used to be uh, once daily Honolulu and then once daily Hong Kong, but I haven't seen the the Hong Kong flight in a while. So. This one is doing the turn from Honolulu. This is the direct flight alternative. If you don't want to take um, like five separate flights to Guam, you can just do the uh, the direct option on the triple seven uh, from Honolulu to Guam. But that's boring. We like to do the island hopper. Uh, but this is this is your alternative if you don't want to do that. So this one uh, in on, from the direct flight uh, from Honolulu, and it will be headed back out there on the turnaround. And unfortunately, we kind of run out of light over here, um, but we also have cargo here at Guam, mostly from this airline here, Asia Pacific Airlines. This is their old delivery on the 757-200. Uh, this one arrived in from Yap, and it will be heading out to Honolulu. Uh, so yeah, Asia Pacific Airlines, they do uh, quite a few cargo flights here uh, to Guam, and they have a uh, big operation out of Honolulu. And they also fly to like Chuk, and um, I believe they fly to they flew, flew to Hong Kong as well. I'm not, I don't quite remember all the destinations, but I know they do, they do uh, Honolulu. And on uh, this one, it was uh, flew in from it flew in from Yap, which is a new one for me um, for for Asia Pacific Airlines. But yeah, good to see good to see them. Unfortunately, the light kind of 
teeters out over here at the end of the airport, but um, good to see that our cargo guys are still going right here. And I haven't used this model in a long time, so it's good to use it back here at a Guam Airport update since I can't use it really at any of my other airports. It's really only good at these Guam updates, so uh, here it is once again, and uh, she's looking pretty as always. With that being said, that will conclude this airport update of the Guam Antonio B1 Pot International Airport. Thank you all for checking it out once again. Uh, hope you hope you enjoy these airports uh, or this airport um, because I will probably be making some more airport airport updates on this in the future if you like this one. Um, since yeah, it's good to be back here at Guam and uh, definitely a very interesting airport. And I kind of forgot how much I missed this place. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I mean this one one to four hundred scale sized of this place as it is a pretty cool place uh, so yeah well that being said that will conclude our report update today thank you all for checking it out and i will see you tomorrow as always good night i'll feed us in